This is Aviation News Today, recorded live in the ANTN headquarters, Washington, D.C. Today's program has been brought to you by Reveal, a leading provider of innovative threat detection solutions. Welcome to Aviation News Today. From the AAA headquarters in Washington, D.C., I'm Joel Bacon. Here's a quick look at news from Washington and around the aviation industry for the week ending November 6th. You can get more details on these stories and others on the AAAE.org website. AAA President Chip Barkley sent a pair of letters to Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid this week calling for action on key airport legislative priorities. Barkley argued for quick passage of a multi-year FAA reauthorization bill and for the permanent elimination of the alternative minimum tax penalty on airport private activity bonds. On FAA reauthorization, Barkley called for increases in the passenger facility charge and AIP funding and urged the defeat of controversial airport res aircraft rescue and firefighting uh, proposals that could severely impact airports of all sizes and jeopardize commercial air service to small communities. AAAE ALA members can view the letters and additional information on the AAAE.org website. Two years after an advisory board recommended 77 changes to ease congestion in New York airspace, only 30 of those initiatives have been completed, according to a report from the DOT Inspector General. Of the 30 completed items, nine are used only infrequently, three have been discontinued, and 13 need more work. Only five of the completed items were found to create the expected benefits and the 47 unaddressed issues face a number of challenges before they can be implemented. The Air Transport Association said this week that the nation's airlines posted a second consecutive quarter of cost declines. ATA's composite cost index fell 29 percent in the second quarter of this year compared to a 0.9 percent decline in the, C in the consumer price index. Labor and fuel costs together accounted for nearly half of airline operating expenses. The average fuel price paid for fuel fell 36 percent from record levels a year ago, while the average cost of employing a full-time equivalent worker rose 6 percent, ATA said. Southwest Airlines hopes to enhance its reputation for being environmentally responsible with new initiatives aimed at achieving sustainability and millions of dollars in cost savings. At its annual media day, Southwest unveiled a Boeing 737 loaded with environmental extras that reduce its weight, making it more fuel efficient. Two artificial leather seat covers are lighter than the ones they replaced, and newly installed interior floor coverings are recyclable. FAA this week rejected a request from Bob Hope Airport in California for a total ban on night flights, saying that the Burbank-Glendale-Pasadena Airport Authority had not met the statutory requirements for approval of a ban. An airport operator proposing a noise or access restriction affecting Stage 3 aircraft operations must meet six statutory criteria in order for FAA to approve the restriction. The authority's application did not provide substantial evidence to meet the criteria, the agency said. China's aviation sector has managed to regain robust growth. Passenger numbers are rebounding and the country's airlines marked an overall profit through the first three quarters of 2009, according to government regulators. Unlike the continuing trend of cutbacks and deep losses at many airlines in other regions, Chinese carriers, maintenance facilities, airports, and other aviation businesses racked up a profit of $1.35 billion in the three months ending September 30th. During that same period, the Civil Aviation Administration reported a 23% increase in domestic passenger traffic from a year earlier. TSA has awarded Smith's Detection with a $22 million contract to supply handheld systems for scanning liquids. The portable, de portable devices can be used to screen large bottles of liquid at airport checkpoints. TSA ordered the devices under its Bottle Liquid Scanner program, which sought the development of handheld scanners for use at airport security checkpoints. And that's all for this week's edition of Aviation News Today. For all of us here at AAAE, thanks for joining us. I'm Joel Bacon. Experienced, effective, respected, AAAE ALA Federal Affairs Membership delivers for you. Join today and get connected.